last video during my ending state of my I guess I said I wanted to give a giveaway for having 100 views for my first video yay I said that all you had to do was subscribe like and comment on that video and luckily more than one person did it so do -do 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 -do. let's see the results So if you happen to be watching this, Alan, I'm going to be buying you a drink. Yay! Hi! I hope you have a good day. I hope you had a good week. I hope you were just as excited as I was when you found out that Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack made a song just so that you could buy his Lacoste brand. He did that. Ooh. Or if you're sad because simple things like a ring light stand breaking right before you film. But it's okay. We're here. It's fine. Because we have pie! Yay! Got myself some pie because it's National Pie Day. 3.1415926. Yeah! We have these pies right here. Don't mind the red. I was taking a picture for my Instagram right here. So if you happen to like the picture, go to my Instagram and like it too. I got the pie from Republic of Pie. This one right here is their Marion Berry. I asked them and they just said there's berries. Yes. <laughs> And this is their cookies and cream pie. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna dig in because I'm hungry. Yes, I am also that type where if something small sad things happen, it just like kind of sets me off. That's why I'm not wearing the robe because I was already were like, yeah, fuck it. Meh. I'm just gonna do it like this anyway. Here's the first bite. So, so good. Another one. Mmm. Pie so good. It's like if those fruit tarts were in a pie. I guess, yeah. It's basically like a fruit tart with the like pie crumble part. Which, by the way, this part. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> right when I was like, I'm ready to film, got the pie, took a shower. I was good. And then you'll see in the next video, there's a special guest, but we had adjusted it. And so I don't know what happened. I was trying to readjust it. And then the ring light on the stand, I like touched it and it went boop. And I was like, ah! <laughs> but it's okay. We can work it out. Don't ask how I'm doing it, but I am. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am the type where 20 good things could be happening to me. You know, good day. I'm alive. I'm eating. I'm housed. Other good things. I'm sure, I'm sure other good things. But then when like that bad thing that like kind of, it's just one bad thing and I'm like, ah, oh, and then it takes like five things to just to get me to, five happy things to happen for me to get back on track. But then a small sad thing happens again. And it's just this cycle of like, when can I be okay? But, hmm. Okay, I'm guessing there has to be a blackberry or raspberries. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it only happens when you eat raspberries and blackberries. That like stringy feeling, but that good fruit stringy feeling. I'm sure they're strawberries. It's still tardy. Mm. I'm so happy for a pie day. I don't usually celebrate those food holidays, like national peanut butter jelly day. But pie day, pie day just makes sense. <laughs> I wasn't like the biggest fan of pie growing up. The only reference to pie that I had was pumpkin pie during Thanksgiving. And I was like, okay. But it wasn't until I went to Julian, California, which by the way, like someone has to warn you that there are cities like Julian, <laughs> California. They're nice. It just so happens that when I went, which was like during my college days, a bunch of my friends, majority of them people of color, and just driving through some of the house is there and they're all literally they're like the old man from the pirates of the caribbean movie where they like sit on their rocking chair and they just while you pass by and they just i was like that's not the welcome i wanted but okay sure <laughs> but their pies oh my god julian's pies life-changing life-changing so ever since then i've been really liking pies Especially if they have this crumble. Oh my god. 
I'm so good. Other than this whole like little ring light situation, I had a really good day. A good week. Why? Because Bruno Mars came out with a new song. Oh my god, it was it was what I needed. Oh, I'm not the hugest Bruno Mars fan, because I will admit I don't own any merch from him. I should have. I went to his concert in LA. I went to his concert in Mexico too. I should have bought something. I should have. Regrets. Big regret there, but yeah but since the beginning i've been really into bruno mars's music and i found out that he was going to be doing this with the cause have a duet song with anderson pack i was like that's that's different but oh my god the song please please listen to it at least even if you're not a fan of bruno mars even if you're one of those anti bruno mars people and you're like no he's just all hype just give it give it a try let your soul feel that for a second because my soul felt everything when he sang oh my god for a moment i forgot i was in a pandemic that we were in a pandemic i was like what is heartbreak i believe in love and then the music ended and i was like no reality so i had to just keep listening to it to be happy again <laughs> then it would just be the cycle of like oh my god yes this is great bruno mars is amazing no okay listen again no listen again no so i'm probably in my like a millionth cycle of it but it's okay i went from like listening to it every hour to like at least once a day oh really messy but it's so good And I will admit too, to me, Bruno Mars reminds me of luck because story time, I happened <laughs> to win tickets like from those like radio calls. I just felt it. They were handing out tickets to Bruno Mars in the forum. And there was something that told me that was like, call, just try. I was like, okay, I've never done this. The first time I called, I was number three. I think it to be number six, let's say. And I was like, well, 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 let's just try one more time. And I heard the ringing and I was like, what? They asked me what, like what I'm winning for. And I'm like, Brun Br Bruno Mars? And they're like, congratulations. You just won free tickets to see Bruno Mars. And I freak out. I was like, oh my God. He's just such a, he's such a good performer. So, so, so good. The entire time I was standing, it just made me feel bad because everyone around me paid a shit ton of money to sit where we were sitting and i was like oh my god i think they like the most i heard was that they paid like 350 dollars per seat and there were like three of them i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god but i got that for free and then the day of the concert i get a missed call from the radio station and you know where my mind goes my mind was just like oh yeah i have to return these tickets they're fake after all like i was already such a debbie downer about it Mm. Oh my god, I just love this part. I love the crumble. Mm. Oh yeah, I was like, hi, did I miss a call from you? And she was like, you should probably check your voicemail. I was like, my voicemail? And I realized that they left one. I was like, oh, okay, sure. And somewhere in the depths of Instagram, this radio station does show it happening. The guy calls, they had said my name, and they're like, this person just won the grand prize to see Bruno Mars in Mexico. Let's call her up right now. And the moment he says it, I'm, I had like really bad service where I was. The moment he tried to call, it went straight to voicemail. I, again, I didn't know I had missed a call. Or maybe I was just getting ready. I don't know. And he was like, oh, he's like, what should I do? What should I do? Well, anyway, I can't believe you're not answering this phone call, but you just won the grand prize to see Bruno Mars in Mexico. And I heard that and I dropped the phone. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. I was getting ready at a friend's house. She was like, what was wrong? What's wrong? And I was like, oh, I think all of my life's luck was put into Bruno Mars. So he has a special place in my heart. First bite of the cookies and cream. Mm. I actually really don't like whipped cream, but this, the combination of all of this is just so good. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. I have like this chocolate crust too. Hearing his like song, his new song like took me back to those memories because that is definitely a memory of mine. I hope I never forget ever. But yeah, I've been a fan of him since the beginning. 
I think too, he brings back like, he's so versatile in his music. He does pop, R&B, he does rock, but he's really good at the electric guitar. He's really good at the drums. He's just all or, like, he's just a very all around good musician. Mm. His newest song with Anderson Pack, Leave the Door Open, it just brought me back to late 90s, early 2000s R&B music videos. People may say that Disney is the reason why we have such high standards for loves. I, I actually really blame those music videos, honestly. If you were born in that time, every love song or any song that had to like with the guy trying to, it's always like a guy trying to get the girl. He's chasing after the girl. The girl is so gorgeous, but then she plays hard to get and he's just like, you are worth it. How am I supposed to feel when the standard of love is that there's a guy outside of my like house in the pouring rain dancing all nice. And he's just, and it's literally him saying, if he had one wish, it would be with me. Or like having this sexy, Ma literally just a padding out of a, a man like you think it's just his face and it shows more of his body and he just keeps singing to you and you realize he's shirtless and you realize he's not wearing pants and then you're like what how far is this video going oh d'angelo <laughs> and they just gave such a high standard <laughs> well i thought love was supposed to be or when you're having a fight and the girl's walking away and they're like baby please forgive me and then all of a sudden you have this boy group singing with them <laughs> about how he's gonna swallow his pride and he's gonna go down on one knee and it's not even like a good quality music video because you just see how pixelated it's the 90s it's the early 2000s it's like that slow-mo of him going down on one knee grabbing her arm and he she's just staring like mm, i guess okay i love you too like oh my god <laughs> or just like when you literally having usher like politely apologize to you saying like he would go for you but then there's just this girl in her heart in his heart and all he does is think about her and every girl that he sees after just reminds him of her or like even just usher and alicia keys singing in Times square together saying like oh yeah that's my boo that's usher's boo and that for some reason somehow some way, even though they kissed at what, like at the age of nine in the song, they're just able to just casually meet each other in Times Square and then fall in love all over again. <laughs> they don't, they just don't make songs like that anymore. They don't make music videos like that anymore. And then to add on to that, with my childhood, we would sing those songs then with the karaoke machine, but it would be either the scenic route of the, the scenic view of the flowers, the islands, the ocean, or then there's this girl walking by the guy turns around and with the purple font you start singing your love song <laughs> the big ass purple font that you can't misread and somehow one uncle does <laughs> there's that one uncle singing his heart out and then you just see him squint like oh d d d i know <laughs> and just keeps going on the wings of love <laughs> that's how good this pie is like i feel like i should be drunk off this food i like have this happy vibe to it <laughs> And music, music also just makes me that happy. I don't feel those like ee vibes when there's like a new person singing. It's just like a ooh, ah, oh, how nice, or oh yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> like, it's not like a ooh, ooh, ooh the chills <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, like, I get chills from like a really good voice, but like the song entirely though, you know? And I just feel like that's what Bruno Mars brings back. Props to Bruno Mars, because when I think of Lacoste, I think of like, and then maybe it's just my specific childhood. I think of those like Filipino uncles that like think like that showing that crocodile means that there's some high status in life where I'm pretty sure they like got it from a family member from here in the US and it was on sale where we can get like 10 shirts for a certain amount of m money. And it was at Lacoste because at some point there's always a sale at Lacoste. <laughs> now Bruno Mars, AKA Ricky Regal now is selling Lacoste brand and I'm going to be like, Okay, yeah, I suddenly like the crocodile. <laughs> That's how I feel about it now. No one can change my mind. Except for Bruno Mars. If he starts it not like it, I won't like it either. Yep, that's me. <laughs> also to say too, like I obviously like other artists. Bruno Mars just has a special place in my heart. You know, I'm not the type to to say like, oh, if you're sad, listen to happy music. No. 
get that song that makes you feel things and just let it all out. When I feel a certain way, I have like that song. And I'm like, yep. Like when I'm like angry and I'm trying my hardest to not throw out more violent rage or like when I my internal rage is like up here and there was a point where I'm like, no, I'm gonna release all of this anger. I listen to Fall Out Boy's Thanks for the Memories and I just belt that out in the car and I feel better. <laughs> or when I'm sad, it's, it's been a like a, it, or like I guess for me, I have like my levels of sadness where I'm like, oh, the day was okay. Oh, okay, yeah, life's not great, getting great. Oh, I am hitting rock bottom. Like I have a song for each of them. Sam Smith is a top there for that song, for, the, for those feelings. But it's funny too, because it's not even like I make a playlist. I don't make like my little angry playlist or I don't have a let me be sad playlist. I have like that song and then my whole like song playlist is on random so it can be whatever the fuck next. So I can be feeling really sad, I can be in my feelings and all of a sudden this Broadway show tune pops up and I'm like, oh, okay, there was that. <laughs> I'm growing up too, like I had an eclectic taste in music. I think I, I have a favorite song in almost every genre except for country. I don't know, man. You can't you can't get me to do it. <laughs> Someone showed me a song one time and they were like, isn't it so good? And the guy literally compared the love of his life to a can of beer after work. And I'm like, that's love. Okay. <laughs> Again, it's not, it, does, it just didn't hit the same way. <laughs> it didn't hit the same way as the 90s and 2000s R&B. If you're wondering why millennials are like, having a rough time finding that one it's because we grew up with the standards of the one through music and also just to throw that flashback remember there was a time where we couldn't look this up on youtube we are older than youtube so we had to literally wait for the music video to pop up and watch the entire music video there are still music videos to this day i hear the song and i can like play it in my head because i was so focused on it the days right kids won't know that there was once a time where there was a top 20 and then they would play it you had to wait for that number one hoping hoping <laughs> okay guys if i had to choose this one wins for me uh, it's also because i really like tart but this is really really good i guess if there's any advice one listen to their new song get yourself some pie today on behalf of pie day and Listen to music that makes you feel the way you feel so that you can just let it all out and then continue on with your day. Music is cheaper than therapy. Food is cheaper than therapy. So go for that, right? 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 <laughs> and some of my friends have commented. They're like, this is like therapy for you, huh? And I was like, yeah, it starting is to be like that. Just gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. I also finished my pies though. Like I finished my pizza. Like I know I should eat the crust, but I'm like, mm. But anyway, I hope you had a good day, I hope you had a good week, and if not, I hope you were able to just relax with me and eat some pie on National Pie Day! Because remember, tomorrow's going to be a new day. <laughs>